here you can see our big musical fountain. With the cost of electricity going up, we thought we should look at running it via solar energy. The first thing you should ask is how much electricity does this fountain use when everything is running? Well, if we were to run all 28 pumps and 10 lights at the same time, this fountain uses just over 4,000 watts. Yes, it is a lot, but 99% of the time it's only 5 or 6 pumps running, which constantly change, and even then the pumps are not running at 100%. Having said that, we would have to take into consideration the fact that the fountain will use 4 kilowatts, albeit briefly, so with this in mind, 4 kilowatts can be produced by solar, but to do that we already know it would be cost prohibitive. So what next? The fountain does have a small pump, so we will look at running this by solar. As before, we need to know how much electricity this pump uses. I have temporarily put a plug on the cable that runs a small pump in the big fountain. As you can see, it's plugged into my watt meter. Let's push the plug in. It varies because the number of actual LEDs that are on are changing. But let's go for an average of 130. As you've seen in this video, this pump and lights use an average 130 watts, which is obviously considerably less. We have tried various solar pumps and fountains over the years, and honestly they are just too small to be noticed. So, to make this pump run on solar, we have found a kit that has two 140 watt solar panels to collect the sunshine. An inverter turns the small 12 volts DC produced by the panels into mains 240 volt AC. A big battery stores the energy so we can run the fountain and lights at night. A solar controller controls the battery charging rate and basically looks after the battery. However, the particular solar controller we would get doesn't have very good reviews, so we will have to use a better, more expensive one. This one costs just over £100, whereas the first one can be bought for a little over £5. Yes, you get what you pay for. The kit we are looking at, which is why you only see these representative shapes with the cheap solar controller, costs around £510 plus £100 for the better solar controller. So that is £610 for everything to run our small single pump and light combo. Not bad considering the price of electricity. Now let us do some math. Electricity is sold in kilowatt hours or a thousand watts used for one hour. One kilowatt hour is roughly 40 pence. Our pump and light combo uses 130 watts. So that means we can run our pump constantly for just over seven hours and it will cost us 40 pence. But as we only run the pump for 15 minutes a day, that means we can run it for 28 days, 15 minutes a day, for only 40 pence. If you look at the cost of all this equipment to run it on solar, as it will take just over 11 years to break even, in this case it is just not worth the money for us to try and run a small pump on solar. And, as I said, we already know that to run the whole fountain on solar, the cost will be in the several thousands just to buy the equipment. I do know of a company in America that has been selling solar operated fountains for lakes for some years. They start at $11,000. Shipping, import duty and VAT is not included and that is just for one.